a Halloween theme, honey, and definitely a witch in their midst. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for Married to Medicine LA. This is season two, episode four. Like I said, there was a witch in their midst. And listen, her husband's the one that called her that. So <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about it. Anyhow, Dr. Kendra, Dr. Kendra, we got to actually see her at work. Um, pretty good pretty good i was i was impressed she works with underprivileged patients so um it's a, it was a good look it just is a good look uh yeah she 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 because naturally she could have went to like a higher scale hospital or whatever but she enjoys what she does she wants to work with her patients who really um possibly wouldn't be able to afford care and you know that kind of thing and that's where she is fulfilled and i'm like that's cool. listen everybody needs doctors so i'm here for it i'm here for it and i'm glad they actually showed it on here because they could have very well went yeah we're going over to the ritzy titsy hospital and we ain't going to the regular hospital you know so that was really cool to actually see and she has really good bedside manner um i felt like she's able to roll into a room and just make everybody feel comfortable is what I actually got from her. You know, she's not, um, not that the other, the other doctors wouldn't, but I couldn't see, like, I couldn't see Dr. Jackie with Kendra's client. Dr. Jack, they'd have to get to know Dr. Jackie, but I can see Kendra's clients being intimidated by Dr. Jackie until they got to know her. You all understand what I'm saying. All of the ladies, you know, they're queens. So like every last one of them, um, you know, Heavenly, Jackie, Simone, um, all of the husbands on both sets, definitely, you know, I think they have enough humility to be able to to do it, but for whatever reason, Kendra just fit to where there was, there wouldn't be a time of where they would feel like, oh God, you know what I mean? So y'all get what I'm saying. Somebody won't, and I'm sure they won't, and they'll be down in them comments acting a fool, but guess what? There's a fool on screen, so you can go down there and act up in them comments if you want to. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know I love my girls and y'all know I love me some Dr. Jackie. But Dr. Jackie is, that's Dr. Jackie. So that's that. Now, if you see Dr. Jackie down to the county hospital walking around with her heels on, you know good and well you wouldn't be as comfortable as when you see Kendra roll through with some tennis shoes on. Now, that, I said it. Now, let's move on. Remember what I said about the comments. See, y'all can get down there clown if y'all want to. Anyway, moving on. Oh, Shanique and Jasmine. They were out shopping for haunted hayride costumes. Um, Shanique's going to host this whole haunted hayride. And she put it right out there right away. Leah is not invited. <laughs> so right away, I was laughing. I was like... Shanique, I could tell, I said, she not, I don't know, like, she didn't seem like the person that would be actually throwing a Halloween. See, my, my best friend loves Halloween. He loves Halloween. I am one, I don't, I've never been, like, gung-ho about Halloween, but I always get excited about it for him, okay? Whenever he lived in Pittsburgh, he do a little Halloween party and all of that. I haven't dressed up for Halloween since I was a kid. One, I'm a drag queen. I dress up all goddamn year. So I ain't gotta wait until no specific day and put on that and go to bag and child. I'll go look, I'll go play and be somebody else in a minute. Like that. <laughs> if I, child, listen, say great switch up in five, four, three, two, mm. 
Anyway, <laughs> moving on. But I, I don't. I don't get real gung-ho about Halloween. And I didn't get that from Shanique. She just, I was looking at her and looking at what she was looking at as a costume. And I was like, they just threw this on you as a storyline because you ain't even all that excited about it. And then Jasmine, she just want to be naked. That was just her whole thing. Girl, I want to wear lingerie. Well, what you been? I bet you lingerie. I was like, okay. That's me talking. That's not what she said. That's what her body language gave, and that's what she did. She showed up in lingerie. That ain't no goddamn Halloween costume. Lingerie and ears. Girl, sit down. Anyway, moving on. Leah ain't invited, flat out. Moving on. Britain and her babies. Child, so we, it's more with Britain and the babies. And I start seeing something was being dropped. And I was like, I know we're not getting ready to do this because you know we don't mess with our kids down here on the to the married to medicine lane. We don't mess with our kids. The kids are the kids. Whatever the kids do is fine. You don't be pointing out no faults in the kids. What's the hell's going on? But we start seeing they're talking about Britain's baby girl and her attitude. And they kept on little sound bites and little clips and, and little mama and she she's she's snippy she's britain she is britain but just a little one honey <laughs> she was saying stuff and moving along and she didn't want to be bothered like you could tell she just i was like and immediately i said okay i see where we're going and i see why we're going there remember they just moved from florida the kids and the daddy just moved from Florida to California. So I said, oh, okay. So I said, is baby girl having an issue with missing her old life in Florida? And then is that where the attitude is coming from? So I said, okay. So that, because it was making me very uneasy. Like in the first half hour of the show, I was like, I was starting to get an attitude, you know, and I was like, don't do that. Don't, you know, don't you dare paint this baby in no bad light with these, you know, with everybody watching, you know what I mean? But then I said, okay, I said, so Britain's going to have to open up and pay attention because something going on with baby girl. You know, she caught it that something was going on, but she just didn't know what. So that, you know, we continued on with that. And later on, um, Mac and Britain actually talked about it. And um, she's talking about her and the attitude. And she was like, well, no, you know, she always been, had a little bit of an attitude. You know, even when she was little, she was giving to me a little bit. Um, but Britain checked her. Now, that's the thing. Even when they were showing the little sound bites and different things, every time she stepped out a little bit, Britain was checking her. And that's why I was like, yeah, I'm like, you got the wrong mama for all that. That's why I said, there's something else going on. Because she was so on her with checking her about her attitude that I can't imagine that it's just like an ongoing thing all the time. So that's when they said, well, you know, I think it might be a little bit of puberty as well as, you know, the move and everything like that. And I said, okay, we get it. I got it. It's cool. But yeah, I needed to, to somebody to tap me on the shoulder because I was getting very irritated because I felt like they was getting ready to try to build the baby into a bad light. And I didn't like that at all. But yeah, so it's just growing pains. That's all. Growing pains and um, yeah, and I still think, I'm sure she has to do all, like learn all new friends and all of that. Yeah, that's child. I'll be mad to shit. So, at, so it was cool. It all got cleared up. But I was going to say, honey, I was going to be on y'all. Y'all know I was getting ready to wear you all out on this review. You know, I ain't got no big voice, but I got a little small voice. I was getting ready to wear Bravo out, honey. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Britain got it. Britain and Mac got it. They're going to take care of it. All right, so Dr. Imani, my girl, honey, she then went to have this interview done about um, pseudobulbar effect is what she was talking about. And the interview was with the IndieWire. Um, she has a whole little thing that she really is into this and the awareness of this whole thing. She's an advocate for mental illness awareness. And the whole, that pseudobulbar effect she was explaining that that is 
what was going on with the Joker in the movie The Joker. That's what they were actually portraying. And she was saying there's a lot of people that actually really suffer with that. And sometimes they can seem a little scary, you know, because there's things that are going on with them and people don't understand it. But yeah, so she's pushing out the awareness of that. So that was really, really cool. Then she ended up speaking to Phil um, about, you know, her FaceTime, which is speaking to Phil about the whole Jasmine thing and all that. And he was telling her, like I told her last week in my review, girl, stick to you, honey. Stick to being you. Don't take no shit. Don't start no shit. But don't take no shit. And don't be letting them push you around. I said, see, come on, Phil. So that was that. That was cool. Um, and again, you know, they keep trying to push this thing that there's something wrong that's going on with Phil and Dr. Imani, but I don't see anything wrong. They have different types of personalities and they seem to be found what's going on. And I think it's just wishful thinking on those other little evil people's part. So until they show us something different, that's that. Moving on. Kendra and Hobart. Now both of their asses are sick. I said, if y'all don't get somewhere and sit down both of them sick. He then rubbed up on her, honey, and then got her sick. And then he was telling her, he thinks that she's pushing too much. You know, it's too, she was going too quick, going back to work and stuff. He don't want her to work. And he was talking about it. And even in his confession, he's like, we are at a point where we can actually afford for her to stay home and take care of this damn baby. And that's what he wants. He wants her to stay home and take care of that damn baby. Girl, he done knocked you up and now he's trying to lock you up, honey. But she ain't going for it. She ain't going for it. Um, child, y'all gonna be fussing about that from here on out, so we'll just watch. <laughs> Listen, first of all, I'm gonna tell y'all this. You two, Kendra and Hobart, y'all should have had this conversation before you knocked her out. Think about it. Moving on. So then we seen the kids going out for Halloween. It was cute. Um, Britain's daughter was the cutest little damn Wednesday Adams. She looked just like, and then she was showing out too. So she, her attitude was very Wednesday Adams. I said, child, was you reading your daughter a little bit on a slide, Britain? But she was just as cute as Wednesday, honey, and she was really having none of it. She was, she didn't give a shit about that candy bagging ass shit out of Girl, Wednesday Adams was perfect. <laughs> but the whole family was in character. They looked really, really cute. But she really did. She embodied Miss Wednesday, honey. I said, go ahead, girl. Anyway, um, then we see a little scene where Robert is actually talking to Shanique. Baby, that Robert gets Shanique all the way together. All the way together. And this is the thing. I, I like Robert. I like Robert. I've grown. He's grown on me a lot. I like Robert. I don't really care for Shanique all that much. I like Robert because he gets her together. He tears her ass up. But I could tell at the same time, that little man, I think if you actually bother her, he will get your ass together as well. So I'm here for that. I'm here for some Robert, honey. We like Dr. Robert. Um, his wife will just have to accept her because we like Dr. Robert. We've done it before. We do it with the women where we like the like the women and the thing and we just accept the husband even if we don't care for him too much. We will have to do the same thing for Shanique. She not my cup of tea, but I like your husband. So, it is what it is. Anyway, she not very nice. But um, he told her about that whole thing and her behavior lately. And the fact about Leah, he said, I think Leah needs to be invited. And I think y'all need to fix whatever that is y'all got going on because it really ain't that deep. I said, come on, Robert. And he's right. He's right. But she still didn't uh, invite her to the damn thing. And that's okay because she came anyway because she was a plus one for Imani. Boom. But um, Robert had told her, you should dress up as a witch. Shanique, that's how you've been acting lately. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. Okay, he gets her right together. Anyway, so I'm laughing at uh, Old Imani. She decided to dress as um, one of the women from Wakanda. She said the sister, but the sister wasn't bald, sweetie. So you weren't the sister. You were one of the, the Amazon warriors, which is even better. But I guess she, she said she wanted to be the sister, but the sister wasn't bald. 
it was the warrior princesses that were actually bald. And that's that's what you were. Now, you say what you want. You were one of the warrior princesses. I liked them better anyway. So that's who you were. But she said, <laughs> now look, now me and Imani going to argue. She told me, no, God damn it. I said I was a sister. You say what you want, Dr. Imani. You was a warrior princess. Okay, beautiful? Now that's that. Anyway, <laughs> she's sitting there. She's like, I'm smart. I'm sexy. And I'll beat your ass if you don't know how to act. Like I said, not the sister, you were a warrior princess. Now that's that. And and I ain't going to act right and you're not going to beat my ass. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm done. I'm moving on. I'm acting silly. Okay. Anyway, so listen. Um, Once they even, they got there, they went through the haunted house and all that. That haunted house was a whole lot of things. I was like, child. They, like every weird thing that you... People, when they did the little thing, when they had the people that looked like they were sitting in the little church, I said, child, in this church, I said, y'all not going to give me the conjuring all up in it. Child, I would told if y'all don't get me the funny running. It was terrible. <laughs> people jumping out. I said, child, I would have been high y'all and I would have been tearing somebody up in there. I would have probably come up out of there with a couple cases because I would have been hitting people and I know I'm <laughs> what I don't like stuff like that. Anyway, and I ain't scary. You know, I like scary movies and stuff. But I ain't mm -mm, I ain't playing them little games, child. I'll be down, whop, pop the shit out of somebody. Anyway, move on. So, once they were having their little talk, they went to eat and stuff. Everything, everything. Because, first of all, Shanique was pissed when she seen Dr. Amon. I was like, girl, shut up. You lose. She's a plus one. She's here. Get over it. And Jasmine, you shut up too, naked. Little naked. Shut up. Anyway, they read into everything about Phil. Everything about Phil. And I think that it's funny how Imani, Imani Patty, and she playing the game with them. Because she's like, uh, talking about his singing. Oh, no, girl, he don't never sing to me. They went, what? I don't know, girl, he should be singing to you, child. Girl, he ain't singing to her, honey. I promise you, when she gets up on him, honey, she makes him sing, honey. She just ain't telling y'all because it ain't none of y'all's business. Anyway, and then they're like, um, well, she said, you know, the way that we move whenever he's home, child, it's just like he ain't there anyway. Like we be missing each other sometime any old way. So it is what it is. I said, girl, she is playing this thing and they just buying all into it. Honey. I said, girl, they going to have her at the divorce court. They probably going to go get the, um, the papers drawn up for the divorce for her. They just messy as hell. I was like, mm, 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 girl, keep playing them. Anyway, moving on. So Leah and Shanique ended up having their little thing. And, you know, um, Leah Patty, Leah that came dressed as a paratrooper. <laughs> so, of course, Shanique brings it up. Like, she's trying to be funny. This, that thing, and the other. So when they bring up the whole thing, she says, Leah said, well, girl, the whole thing is, girl, you messy. You screwed up her whole party. Like, you changed the whole mood of the party with that garbage that you pulled. And all of that. And it just wasn't cool. She says, and then the thing about it is, you were laughing at the outfit too. Didn't she turn around there and say, well, yeah, I did. I mean, I did. Then got in the confessional and talked about the outfit and that the outfit was bad and it was horrible and all of it. Hey, that she is a whole piece of work. But she got called out and it just was a mess. They ended up leaving they were like it's done that everybody was going on home they get outside then leah and jasmine gets into it and ja leah told jasmine you always caping for everything shanique says even when she's wrong you are like so into the fact that she's wrong and in your opinion she don't ever do anything wrong honey and jasmine was given you know she's being real dismissive with leah child leah gave her group the it was a mess. I, it was a mess. Them two are really. They said that Dr. Britton's daughter is going through puberty. I think it's them two, honey, that's going through puberty. Them two got issues. Real live issues. Um, Kendra and Leah actually talked and said, listen, we need to meet and really go over some things and talk about things and get things straightened out. Yeah, y'all do. And leave the two main girls out of it. 
period. Because it, it ain't even it ain't even that. Because them two ain't trying to feud with each other. Jasmine and that guy Dag on Shanique just got it for Leah and Dr. Imani, period. But they're going to get what they're looking for, I do believe. Anyway, I'll catch y'all next week.